so glad I'm not out commuting today. Stuck in the traffic. But instead, I'm out. And I'm out today, starting my South Downs way. So you can hear the roar of the M3 behind me. Just cross that and I'm a mile in and only another 99 to go. So South Downs Way is a 100 mile national trail. It's one of the most recently formed national trails. And I'm gonna try and aim for four day for this one. So the weather, well, it looks okay. Um, it's late September. We had some rain last night. There is rain forecast today. But fingers crossed over the weekend. I'm hoping for it to be dry. So if you've never heard of the South Downs Way before, like I said, it's a national trail. It starts from the old Saxon capital of England, Winchester in Hampshire, and stretches along to the seaside town of Eastbourne. And believe it or not, it's the only national trail to sit within the entire boundary of its own national park, so which is the South Downs National Park. So I'm fully loaded. My base weight um, was around eight and a half kilos. I added two litres of water and food and suddenly it became uh, 13. So it's a bit of weight. I think as I go, obviously the weight will come down as I kind of munch through all my snacks and the dehydrated meals. Well, you can see in the distance a coffee bar or mobile one and as I'm only three miles in it feels a little bit early to um, to grab one if it was five or six definitely would so I think we just have to knock that one on the edge for now and crack on I oh, saw it I'm here to enjoy myself, not to kill myself. Let's do it. So yeah, I did it. Stopped off at um, Baker and White's coffee van. So I highly recommend it. Shout out to, sorry I didn't catch your name mate, but top bloke, cheeky Americano, no cake just yet. And um, yeah, only three and a bit miles in. So seemed a bit premature to park up, stop your face. So, just um, just got coffee.
There we go, Beacon Hill. Not a bad view. I think this will be my lunch stop today. That's around 11, 11 and a half miles done. Um, pretty pleased with progress, so it's about four hours walking. She's coming up to about 12 o'clock. And um, yeah, I can feel a bit of a hot spot on, one, on my left foot. So I think I'm gonna um, air my feet for a little bit and uh, get some lunch going. There we are, old Winchester Hill. Slight detour from the um, official route, but well worth getting up here for those kind of views.
Go on then. Over you go. It's your field after all. You never know what you're gonna get. The field full of cows. They either ignore you, they all stare at you, or sometimes the young calves get a bit feisty and come after you. So um, thankfully they mind their own business today and um, they're busy having their lunch. Check out the views. It's getting on, it's about half six and sun, the sun will set in around 45 minutes. Finally, I'm set up. The ground is rock hard, I couldn't get the pegs in at all. I like to smash them in with a bit of flint. But um, there we are, it's up. I just need to get all my stuff in, get my bed out and um, get some dinner on and chill out. And um, looks like it's going to be a cracking sunset over on the horizon. I'll probably stick a time lapse on and um, see how we get on. sorted sleeping kits all done changed my clothes had some dinner um, a five pot chili con carne which was very nice and really needed and a hot chocolate I've just been chilling um, I'm absolutely knackered um, it's been a really brilliant day 27 nearly 28 miles I think um, really kind of broken the back of the first part of the walk so so happy that it didn't rain because I was dreading the first day 
because the forecast looked horrible for the first probably middle of the morning really from from 10 till about four and i'm um, just absolutely delighted it didn't rain so i'm gonna get a bit of shut eye i hope you enjoyed the time lapse and um see you in the morning <laughs>